Hello everyone and welcome back to The Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road and this is eight motorcycle camping luxuries that deserve the space they take up in your pack. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding and camping buddy, so please consider subscribing. When motorcycle camping, space is at a premium. You don't have a lot of room on your bike to take a lot of the things that you would normally take if you were car camping. It's a lot more like backpacking than car camping just because of the limitations of the amount of gear that you can bring. And because of this, a lot of people like to go super minimalist and work hard to eliminate things from their kit and only bring the essentials when they go camping off their motorcycle. I agree with that principle for the most part, but there are a few luxuries that I think are worth worth the space they take up in your luggage, even though they're not strictly essential items. And these are things that I take with me almost every time I go moto camping or that I'd like to start taking with me every time I go moto camping because I think they're really worth it. Got eight things to talk about. We're gonna go kind of quick. So we're gonna start with number one, which is a pillow. Some people don't bring a pillow when they go moto camping. They just roll their jacket up and put it under their head. They just don't have a pillow at all. Some people lay on their arms. I cannot sleep without a pillow personally, and a good night's sleep while camping is important, especially because I don't want to be dragging or be exhausted the next morning when I'm packing everything up or going riding or whatever. My favorite camping pillow is this Nemo Philo, which I'll show you. It comes in its own integrated stuff sack. It packs down to about the size of a soda can, so it doesn't take up a ton of space. This is a combination air pillow and a cushion pillow, so it's got like a memory foam top but you inflate it underneath and this thing is as wide almost as my pillow at home as comfortable it takes up so little space it is completely worth it to me to have a comfortable pillow to get a good night's sleep on so luxury item number one that I like to take that I think deserves room in your pack is a pillow and, and this pillow in particular is my favorite item number two I don't have yet but I think I'm gonna get one before I start doing any serious summer camping it is a battery powered fan some of you like me sleep at home with a fan on both for the noise and for the airflow I don't sleep well when it's hot at all and so so in the hot summer when I know it's not going to get down below 60 or so at night, it's going to be pretty warm for me sleeping in my tent. And so a battery powered fan, a small one that'll last all night, make a little bit of that noise that I like and keep the air flowing is totally worth it to me. And I'm going to invest in one of those and probably start taking it with me, both car camping and motorcycle camping. Number three thing I like to take with me almost every time I go camping is kind of the opposite of the fan. And that is an extra just in case blanket. Now in the really hot summer, I may not take this with me, but even if I did and I didn't need it to stay warm, it's still still has other uses. Like if I forgot my pillow, it's an extra pillow. You can lay on this. You can put it underneath you for more padding. There's a lot of uses for an extra blanket out there. Somebody may have forgotten theirs. You might get your sleeping bag wet. You can use this around the campfire when it's cold. It doesn't have to just go in your tent. I like to stuff this one inside my bag when it's a little colder than I was expecting. And it gives me an extra layer of insulation because it traps air between the blanket and the inside of the sleeping bag, keeping me even warmer. So an extra blanket, it doesn't have to be as big as this. I like this one because it's kind of made of the puffy jacket material so it's got extra insulation but an extra blanket I always like to take one and have it even if I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it I have used this particular blanket on my last two trips when I've gotten in my bag not been as warm as I wanted to be and stuffed it down inside so it's always nice to have that it's useful to put underneath your pillow so you can have a double pillow if you like to have your head up higher or maybe your sleeping pad isn't long enough so you can put it for a little bit of extra room at the top so that it continues to be flat lots of uses for an extra blanket and I like to take one with me number four is about downtime so when you're camping especially if you go out like in the morning and particularly when you're by yourself this isn't as big of an issue when I'm not by myself but I do occasionally use it but when I'm on my own once camp set up once the woods processed I sometimes end up with some time where it's quiet everything's kind of done and caught up it's not quite dinner time but I don't really want to start drinking yet because I'll run out of booze and or be too drunk to cook whatever I got a little downtime to kill and so I like to bring a few different things. This is my new Kindle Paperwhite. This thing, you can put you know, thousands of books on this. It's very small. The battery lasts weeks. It's got a backlight, so I can put unlimited reading, entertainment, and nothing beats chilling out in the woods in the quiet and just reading a good book. So Kindle is one thing that I would recommend, or just a book. I just like to have a lot of variety, and so the Kindle I can take, you know, like I said, thousands of books with me and read whatever strikes my fancy at the time. And you can put reference books and bushcraft books and things like that if you like to mess around while you're camping also on there it's nice to have I sometimes take my Nintendo switch it's fun to play video games out in the woods particularly when I'm by myself and also sometimes when I'm camping with other people and everybody kind of goes to bed and I'm not sleepy yet it's nice to have something to do in the tent something relaxing so I like to bring a book or a Kindle or my Nintendo switch or something else to fill a little bit of downtime and item number five is one of my favorite places to do that to do my reading video game playing or just chilling while I'm camping and that is in a hammock I can't sleep on my back so I don't generally sleep in a hammock but I like to take one sometimes to 
just hang up in a tree because it's super comfortable to just chill out in. If you've got a bunch of downtime in the afternoon, it's great to take a nap in, it's great to lay in, listen to the forest and read, just sit and relax in a place where your phone doesn't go off, where you don't have cell phone service, you're all by yourself. It's like you forget what real quiet sounds like and laying in a hammock in the woods by yourself is one of the few places where I can capture that. I like to take a hammock with me when I'm camping. It's nice to have as a luxury item, but it's extra if you're not sleeping in it. But I think it's worth room in your pack if, uh, if you like to chill out and relax like I do. Only if you're camping somewhere with trees, obviously. It's a little bit harder in the desert unless you wrap it around a cactus or something. Item six, a thing a lot of people don't take with them motorcycle camping, but I do every single time, a chair. This is my Tusk Compact Camp Chair. This is the extra large version, so it's a little longer. But this thing is as comfortable as my full-size chairs and is sturdy, which is important when you're a bigger guy like me. But man, I like to have a chair to sit in. I don't want to sit on the ground around the campfire. It's nice to have something to sit in while you're preparing food, while you're chilling out, reading, whatever. So some people don't bring a chair. They just sit on the ground. They just sit on a sit pad. And I get that if you're going super minimal. But if you've got the room, I think a compact chair like this, they fold down to about the size of a loaf of bread, is more than worth the space. I like my chair. That's something that I always take with me when I have room. Number seven, luxury item that I like to take with me, not strictly necessary, but really nice to have, is a pair of camp shoes. These are just small, low-top hiking shoes that can compress down pretty good in my bag. They're old, so I don't care if they get kind of smashed and ruined. Some people bring Crocs, some people bring sandals, but if you're wearing riding boots and riding out there, I wear Alpine Stars Corazals, and they're very tall, they're great protection, but they're not the most comfortable boots to wear around camp, and they squeak a lot, and they don't look very good with shorts. So I like to have a different pair of shoes with me if I have the room. The nice thing about shoes is, if it's not raining, they can be strapped to the outside of your pack, you don't have to try to fit them in because it can be a little awkward to kind of a weird shape. Having an extra pair of shoes to change into in camp for walking around, harvesting wood, just hanging out, chilling is nice to have. It's hard to get in and out of your boots in your tent. It's nicer to have a pair of shoes you can just slip on and off. So I like to bring an extra pair of shoes when I can. I don't always, this is probably the first luxury on this list that I drop when I go places and just don't have enough room because I can get by with just my boots on, but it's nice to have the option to wear actual shoes and that requires taking them with you on the bike. And number eight, and probably my favorite luxury and the one I never go camping without is, you guessed it, booze. If space is a concern, a six pack of beer takes up a lot of space, an eight ounce flask of bourbon does not. So I almost always take one of these with me. It's just nice when you're in the woods, it helps me relax. And I recommend doing so in moderation, but a delicious bourbon around the campfire, you can't beat it, or your booze of choice. Sometimes if you're camping close enough to a town, it's nice to be able to ride into town, get a six pack and some ice, put that in your pannier and bring it back, and you got ice cold beers to drink all night. I always like to bring a little extra something to drink. It's just one of my favorite things to do around the campfire and I also enjoy indulging in cigars so I often bring a cigar or two to smoke along with my booze while I'm camping and that is the eighth and final luxury that I think is worth the room in your pack so what do you guys think? Are you super minimalist? Do you think none of these luxuries deserve any room in your moto camping luggage? Are there other luxuries that you take with you every time that I should have added to the list? Leave those in the comments. You want to come along on a moto camping adventure with me and see what that's like? I'll post a link to a video, a recent moto camping video right up here. Check that out. I'd be honored if you would look at it. And if you want to learn a little bit more about camping and what the what camping culture and what it's like to spend time around the campfire with buddies is like, check out my unwritten rules of camping video, which I posted recently right up here. Links to everything that I personally use in these categories in the description below. I'll throw in a few recommendations if you want to check them out. But for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you.